Welcome back, Sagittarius. We're going to be doing a May 2022 um, reading for our Sagittarian singles only. Sun, moon, and rising. Please like, share, and subscribe. And support my channel. Thank you so much for everybody who has um, subscribed to my channel. Um, thank you. We are and now over at the thousand. So let's go ahead and reach for 5,000. Okay, Sagittarius. I've already shoveled your cards, so we're gonna go ahead and just lay this right now. We have the Ace of Wands followed by the Devil, the Six of Cups, Hangman Reverse, Seven of Cups, King of Cups, and the Lovers. At the bottom of the deck is Queen of Swords. Okay, for some of my um, Sagittarians, I feel like there's somebody that you have a very passionate, um, strong, passionate um, a connection to. Could even be like, a, you guys could be even like um, very uh, dependent on each other, like uh, addiction. Uh, you could be addicted to each other because of this this very strong, passionate energy. And I feel like that the way this, this particular um, uh, relationship had kind of started off, it was just like the sparks were there and they were flying. Um, this is somebody from your past because the devil is followed by the six of cups. It's showing me that it is somebody from your past that is now come back because the hangman is reversed. So we have the six of cups and then here they come. They come charging in, right? But I feel at this time right now, um, for you Sagittarius, you have other options around. Or it might be one or two more options that you have around you. Um, and I don't feel like you're giving a lot of time or energy to this um, person from your past because you're you're pretty busy and um, with, particularly in 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 particular with somebody who could be um, a water sign cancer um, Pisces or Scorpio because there's a king of cups here that um, followed by the lovers card so and the lovers also it means about choices so you you definitely have one or one or more choices here uh, Sagittarius and so with the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck I have a feeling I you know again see how this resonates with you but I feel like for some of you you're you're gonna like um, maybe get a little bit frustrated with this person from your past. I'm going to keep that up there. Uh, I'm going to get some clarification on um, what what is the advice and action that you should take with the person from your past because I feel like you do have somebody else coming in and we'll just see what the options are, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I got the, um, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so for me, guys, I feel like for some of you, you might be um, guided in, into moving towards um, the star card, which is your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, and closing out this cycle. Um, but it, it's always good to like hear from somebody. We are going into retrograde, so it makes sense why this person. Let me see about this King of Cups. Let's get a clarification on this King of Cups, because this is your other option, your other choice. Again, this is not gender specific, and it's not going to resonate with everybody. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. Um, so with this poor, poor person that's coming in towards you, um, what Spirit is showing me is like you've already healed, like you've you've gone through this process. You have the three of three of swords. You've gone through this process. So you're open to this new love. You're open to this new connection because we do have the star star card, and you're definitely have um, been manifesting it or um, exploring your options. And um, the ten of swords. I I don't really want to take it as it's it's this connection right here, guys. I I feel like. That is more, maybe you're you're exhausted because you have gone through this healing process um, for some of you. I feel like you've gone through this healing process and you're exhausted and you're, you're, you're wanting to kind of, um, you know, uh, yeah, here's a temperance. This person brings balance, harmony, and peace into your life. And this, this energy from your past, which might still drain you a little bit because I feel like during the month of May, we are going into retrograde. This person could be there. So you could be dealing with two people at the same time. And um, I, I don't feel like you have to rush to make a decision. That's one of the things that I am seeing. Um, so you can definitely explore both of the options if that's what you choose to do. But um, I, I, I definitely feel like if anybody's going to give you any shit this month, um, especially in terms of love, and that's definitely what it is for my singles, um, you're not going to tolerate it. You, you will end it. Even if this person, even if this is a new person that comes in and gives you anything, because you've worked on healing yourself. You know what you are. You're balanced. You're grounded. You're, I, you know, like the temperance shows me like you're one foot in, one foot out. And um, you might remain that way for the entire month, which is okay, you know, like sometimes, you know, we don't have to make a choice right away. Okay, uh, Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and end your reading right there. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading with me, my information is listed below. Love and light to everyone, and until next time.